through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Jump it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 182. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're giving you our DVD rundown. Oh yeah. For the week of August 28th. Mm -hmm. That's a Tuesday for those of you who are wondering. It's always a Tuesday in case you don't Pretty much. Attention. Pretty much. Uh, I would say a pretty solid week overall. Yes. I don't know about your opinion. Yeah. First um, release, maybe more than one solid uh, hit in it for months. And there's, months, there's a bunch almost, of stuff that we're like. leaving off too. That's, that's true. Yes. So let's, let's get this party started. The first one, uh, probably the most interesting to me mm, personally, mm -hmm. and that's Sons of Anarchy season four. Yes, uh, I'm a huge fan of the series. That's I believe I got you hooked you on the series. You did. Uh, I think there are several. Have people. you seen season four? No, so I'm the, actually so, I, I'm actually about to start it. So entertainingly enough, you got me into it, and then I passed you. Specifically. Yeah. Okay. See, I have this thing about watching TV shows where mm. if I miss an episode, I'm like, I can't watch it until I. Oh get well, them yeah, off. that's but that's why I have DVR. So. Right, but like <laughs> some, somehow, like yeah, oh. I'll watch the first episode and I'll be like oh this is great and I'll delete it and then I'll get uh, sidetracked by something else I'm like oh fuck it I can't watch uh, this again so like the same thing happened with Fringe I had, to, I had to download the first two episodes before I could start watching all that so that is literally beginning probably tomorrow so awesome. boom looking forward to it mm -hmm. from what I saw what I remember it was pretty awesome oh yeah start, season so. 4 is really good for any of those people who maybe were disillusioned or upset in any way by the plot arc of the third season they I are back to basics i, I like awesome. the third season i was yeah. fine with so it i liked ireland but for those who did yeah uh again this is for those who are not familiar mm. this is a motorcycle show version of macbeth i believe it is uh, essentially hamlet hamlet yes. that's right hamlet yes. so you know shakespeare and motorcycles not a bad combination mm -hmm. anyway this release has some good special features you got extended scenes from mm -hmm. a variety of episodes you got a commentary track on multiple episodes of the series which is pretty cool mm -hmm. you got deleted scenes gag reel and a special dedication to piney for nice. those who have seen the show you will appreciate that mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm definitely looking for that great show I, yeah. I definitely recommend it if you haven't checked it out the i got season, Hemstar. i think starts in september yeah anytime now so mm -hmm. i'm looking to get ready for that to uh, begin and be on the ball yes, yes. even so. though kurt sutter can be kind of a tool on twitter I, I respect yeah. the dude. He's very honest. Like, yeah, it's like about true. people who got nominated for Emmys, his, yep. no, his lack of nominations, <laughs> stuff like that. People I who aren't fans. I respect. Really I, I totally respect that. Like, I'm I'm completely with you, Kurt Sutter. <laughs> Good on you. Keep keep it up. Mm -hmm. Keep on keep it on. Next up, probably one of the more sketchy ones <laughs> on this list, but if not the sketchiest, probably. Yeah. But one that we felt like mentioning just because yeah. uh, it's a big release this mm -hmm. year in terms of budget yes uh and it has a pretty elaborate release yes. coming out and no. that is okay sorry go ahead and that is battleship yes and you know this is the second punch of the one-two punch against taylor kitsch career yes i don't know if we count savages as the ko i don't know if it failed as uh, hard as battleship I'm probably and John Carter did. not as hard as i mean the budget was like probably like yeah. half to That's a quarter true. of what yeah. they were um yeah well not say he's knocked out i want to give him more chance <laughs> i don't think he has a problem with any of them battleship you know it's not good, but it's essentially just Transformers 4. Like, if yeah. you're fine with any of the Transformer yeah. movies, you'll be fine with that. Like, yeah, the, the, the scenes where it is actually Battleship occurring, that might be pushing it for yeah. me, where you're actually like, B-17, essentially. That, that's a little bit much. But, you know, Does Liam Neeson say that you sunk my Battleship? No. God! He's not even in the majority of the movie. I hate it. See, there's a little bubble. I'll never He's see outside it. the bubble. I'll never see it now. He's, like, in it for, like, ten I'll minutes. I'll never see it. That was the only reason I was willing to see it. Or he could die. That'd be interesting. Either way, don't care. Yeah. If he's not saying release the Kraken he or who die. sunk my battleship. I got stories about right. that for a later day. <laughs> um, anyway, there's a, a couple options. You got a Blu ray and a DVD. Um, mm -hmm. the, they got a good combo pack with Blu ray, DVD, digital copy, and ultraviolet, which is good because the Blu ray has a bunch of features that the DVD, DVD doesn't. doesn't. Yeah. It has uh, all access with uh, Peter Berg, mm -hmm. and he takes Director. you on person. Yep director personal journey through the making of battle chip which is seems to be the closest thing to a commentary track that they have um, strangely yeah. enough they don't have just like a commentary track yeah i'm aware for i remember he was big into using actual naval officers for a lot of it mm -hmm. and things yeah. like that there's so. also sort of like uh alien 3d tech explosions mm -hmm. during the film that are sort of broken down mm -hmm. alternate ending pre-visualizations uh visual effects uh from Industrial Light and Magic are, like, um, broken down, hmm. which looks pretty cool. And then the blue DVD and Blu-ray both have uh, preparing uh, for making this movie, how you 
transition mm, of board game oh, yeah. into yeah, a yeah. movie. And then there's also... Money! Yeah. Lots of money! And then there's also and a couple... thin plots. Yes, Sorry. well, that's true. <laughs> there's also a couple featurettes about filming at sea and mm. stuff like that, mm. which... Okay, whatever. We're cool. Like, uh, it's not it's the like first, water world. It's not the first thing to do that. So, like, I don't really know why that's all that revolutionary. Uh, anyway, you know, it's it's a very comprehensive release. Mm -hmm. You know, if you because the special effects is the thing that would mm -hmm. sell the most about that movie. It's good that most of the features are centered around the special yeah, effects. True. At that's least they're point. catering. And I, I like I like you know a release that maybe I don't love the movie, but mm. if you give me enough special features, yeah. maybe it might bring me around, yeah. or there's something about it. Might that... be worth writing from Scarecrow to at least oh, totally. mess, up, mess around with some of the special totally, features, totally, see what yeah. they're worth. I mean, so. For four, three, four bucks, something yeah. like that. You know, yeah. that's, it's that's worth, worth a shot. It's I mean, it's it. Transformers 4. Like, if you like Transformers 1, 2, or 3, it's then you go for Transformers 4. Yeah. If you're me, don't. Greg, <laughs> Greg thinks he's better than Transformers. I am better Let's than prove Transformers. him wrong. I am. I can transform and roll out. And I don't, I don't have truck I want to know. I want to know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's move on. Yes. Let's. That, that's, that, that's, yeah. Let's. <laughs> Next up, let's talk about The Pirates, mm. Band of Misfits. Mm -hmm. This is the Aardman Animations yes. release that came up earlier this year. Mm -hmm. I know you were a big advocate for yes. it. Didn't um, end up getting to see it in theater. Womp womp. Yeah. Now, now finally you'll get your chance. You know, I'm a big fan of Aardman Studios. Mm -hmm. I mean, their style is very iconic. Yeah. You can always tell an Aardman mm -hmm. sort of production by... Um, just the look of it. Had a very solid cast, you know, Hugh Grant, Selma mm, Hayek, mm -hmm. Jeremy Piven, Martin Freeman. Very solid cast. Nice. Uh, I mean, it's got a very interesting release. It's got the Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray, and DVD all together. Hmm. As far as I can tell, no digital copies available, which is kind of strange, kind of unfortunate, but, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not going to get on them all yeah. up on them. They got a that. 3D version. They get a little credit for it. Yeah, that. exactly. Uh, it's got some good... good extras though which hmm. make it interesting first up is there's a from stop to motion feature which awesome. I, I would love to see awesome. them discuss i don't think the process of stop motion of those no i mean i think you know outside of perhaps leica which we talked about mm, for paranorman mm -hmm. recently um with the outside of them like i don't mean they are really Ardman is yeah. stop motion yeah, animation. Pretty much. Like, they are the ultimate. I mean, I guess Henry Selleck too, floating yeah. out there. But he's sort of he. I mean, Coraline he's was with Leica. Well, he Coraline was with Leica, yeah. well, oh, yeah. Yeah. With Leica mm -hmm. so you know he's kind of it's kind of with them. Mm -hmm. kind of, but I mean, yeah, he's a free agent. Yeah. So Ardman is stop motion animation. Yeah. So that sounds great. Um, you have a feature ad on creating the bath chase sequence, hmm. which is cool. You know, if you mm -hmm. say the movie, you'll know what it's all about. Uh, you have a commentary track with director Peter Lord, co-director mm. Jeff Newitt, editor Justin Krish. Um, interesting to hear editors and directors talk totally. about a stop motion movie. Totally, I think that'd be fascinating. And you also have Peter Lord's short films, which oh, I think nice. is cool, cool. to sort of see. You know, from short mm -hmm. features, how that goes. Really cool. And um, finally, the last one is the "So You Want to Be a Pirate" short film. And I do I, want to be yeah, a pirate. I do, sir, want to be a pirate. <laughs> I will be looking forward to checking that out. But, you know, I love Aardman. Um, looking forward to checking mm -hmm. this out. You know, yeah. it seems like a good release. Yes. I would definitely say it's worth your money. I would agree. Finally, the last one we're talking about, <laughs> another uh, successful TV show, yes. The Walking Dead Season mm -hmm. 2. I mean, there were any number of other ones coming out this week. You know, Homeland mm -hmm. was coming out that we could have talked about. But uh, The Walking Dead, very, very popular show. Yes. Very well done. Mm -hmm. Probably one of the best executions of zombies. Not actually, like, shooting zombies. No, but yes, yes, yes. Actual doing zombie mm -hmm. effects and whatnot. I would agree, yeah. Um, Amazing special effects. Very successful comic mm -hmm. book series also that's based upon. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a very engaging drama. I don't know how much longer I can really enjoy it. Hmm. Like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of reaching my threshold with zombies, but it's it's very well done. I can't say that's the problem with it. They've, they've got a poor. few more seasons till they for me because I've read that far in the comic. So well, isn't it good. drifting off? From well, the, yeah. So. It's, it, yes and no. I mean, the if you've seen the second season, the... Uh, lo the final scene is setting up a location that ha totally exists in the comics as well. Right, but so. like, I mean, I, I think like Rick's hand getting cut off. Oh in yeah, the I mean, like, yes, there, I mean, there, there are definitely divergences, but like, divergences, but still, the idea of the in this case, it's a prison, them going right, to a prison yeah. as their next place that from exists, the fall, yes. from from motion to the farm to then the prison is kind of the the progression progression in yeah. the comics. So it's nice to see that the show even taking its own unique differences is still mm -hmm. head that way and sure. i'm really excited for the third season for michael rooker yeah no i mean it, 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 it's it's definitely a solid mm -hmm. show i can't say that they're 
doing anything necessarily mm -hmm. it's just more of my exhaustion of uh, zombies yes. much like with vampires you know it's especially just... understanding considering the first half of the second season is slightly weak but they make up for it with the second half sure. so uh i mean in terms of the release they have an audio audio commentaries webisodes deleted scenes 10 never before seen featurettes nice which seems like a lot probably fairly short mm -hmm. but you know yeah what, what you're gonna do yeah uh the most interesting thing to me is that <laughs> they have a special edition yes. box release of it which is a zombie head yes. being stabbed by like a screwdriver yes. through the eye yes I, it's just a bust of a head with a screwdriver sticking in it it's and granted great. this costs 65 dollars. i think the mm. regular one costs like 40 or something okay. like that uh I'm not going to buy it. I, I personally think that, you know, <laughs> the special edition boxes are more annoying than yes. they are cool because yes. they really fuck up your shelf. Yeah. They're really only worth it if it's so, if you're so into it that it's going to be on a separate shelf or somewhere else. Yeah, like if it were some Batman thing, I probably yeah. would do it. But <laughs> I'm if not it was a the Batman logo and it had 18 discs inside, you'd probably hang it on your wall, wouldn't you? I definitely would, yes. <laughs> but as I said, like I'm already kind of burnt out by zombies. The last thing mm. I want is like a fucking zombie head sitting on my shelf. Spencer. I mean, it is a little bit of a conversation. I hope, I hope piece, the screwdriver is real and comes out. So in case of a real zo that zombie, would be fucking you could crazy. Use it to fight your. That would be mom. possibly the coolest yes. idea for a special. Food. But no, no. whatever. Yeah. Let us know what you're interested in this week. You know, there's a lot of interesting things. As I said, like Homeland, a few mm -hmm. other shows coming out. So pretty good week. And join us for our next episode. As we talk about outlaw movies mm -hmm. in honor of Lawless. Yep. Should be a good what a one. surprise that a movie yeah. called Lawless has outlaws in it, right? Who knew? Uh, and as <laughs> always, you can find us at MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, yes. Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast. Mm -hmm. Start a conversation. Yeah, we like those. Phone number, 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes, Roku, Miro, Blip. Check in, get glue. Get sticky. I knew. Yeah. Gonna, I knew you're gonna you almost there. started to go there with me just because no, you felt I, it. I was trying. I was it. trying to guess when it was gonna come, <laughs> so to speak. Um, <laughs> Zing. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Can't stop me, I'm fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me, I'm a fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me, I'm fire tonight. It's tight, don't even try to buy the sound style. Mr. Spock can't stop me, I'm fire tonight. The Rath of Khan can't stop me, I'm fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels al